Hi everyone, I'm Catherine with Bracey Designs, and this is Mornings with Bracey. So today's video is going to be how to make a granny square. I am sure that you have seen many variations of how to make this square, but I'm going to show you how I was taught when I was just a little girl. Um, you can download this pattern um, off of my website at gracydesigns.com. I've also put the um, full instructions in the description of this video. There's also a link to the yarn uh, that I use, uh, this nice packet from Knit Picks. Um, they come in these little bundles of many colors so you can be very creative. So I hope you'll join me today and learn how to make um, one version of the famous granny square. The supplies you will need are yarn, a crochet hook, a scissor, and a darning needle. To get started, we make a slip knot. Make a loop, and you pull the yarn through the bottom as a loop, and pull it tight. Put the loop onto the crochet hook, and we will chain six. In the granny square, everything is worked in a one, three, six sequence. After we chain six, we're going to insert the crochet hook in the first chain that we made. Then we're going to put yarn over the crochet hook back through the stitch and then slip stitch through the stitch on the hook. I'm going to flip the little tail over the yarn I'm using to get it out of the way. We've now made a ring and we're going to chain three. Now this is going to be our first double crochet, which is what we're going to work throughout the square. To make the double crochet, we do yarn over, back through the ring, yarn over again, come back through the ring, yarn over one more time, pull the yarn through two, yarn over and then pull through two again. The chain three is considered one of the stitches, so you will have 12 all together, includes 11 double crochets and one chain three. So again, we do yarn over through the ring, then yarn over through two, yarn over through two. Now we have the chain, two double crochets, so that's three. I'm going to show you one more time how to do the double crochet. Yarn over through the ring, yarn over, come back through the ring, yarn over through two, yarn over through two. We now have four double crochets. I'm going to make eight more double crochets until we have 12 in all. I'm going to speed it up a little bit until I finish the 12. I now have my 12 double crochets and I have to join the ring. I like to insert the hook into the stitch before the chain three and then part of the chain three, I think that gives it a better hold when connecting. Pull the yarn through and then connect with a slip stitch. So now we're going to do the next row of the granny square and we're going to chain three, which will be our first double crochet. Directly underneath is, is where we're going to crochet five more double crochets. Remember the chain three acts as that sixth double crochet. But we're going to do three first and then in between the six we're going to chain one. So I've made two. I'm going to make one more for the three. Now I'm going to chain one and to make that corner we're going to do three more in the same hole.
and that's how we're going to work the pattern it's going always be three double crochets and then a chain one so we've done our six chain one now i'm going to skip three double crochets and we're going to do our next double crochet in that hole we'll do three then we'll chain one and do three more in the same hole and this is how we're going to get the square started there's my chain one and as you can see we're making our corners we're going to skip three more double crochets do our three chain one and then three double crochets again and that'll be our third corner there are so many things you can make using granny squares you can make blankets you can make shawls you can make purses you can make hats the, the ideas are endless i'm now on my last corner three double crochets chain one three double crochets and then we're going to join the row of course the accuracy is important because you want to make sure you have three one three you don't want to make a mistake and just do two or forget to do your chain this way it comes out a perfect square now we're going to finish the row by joining to the uh, first double crochet or chain three that we made again take a little bit of that stitch then the chain three stitch yarn over come back through and then slip stitch through the stitch on the crochet hook and we finished our second row which made the square chain three now we're not always going to make corners on this row we're going to have uh, a center stitch which will only do three double crochets so we've done our chain three two double crochets but now we're going to chain one and go into the corner in between the six stitches and here we're going to do six three double crochets one chain three double crochets on the sides we're only only going to use three double crochets so i'll make this corner and then we'll get to another side and uh, i'll show you one more time how we do that here's another corner and now we're going to do the side and you can make these squares as small or as big as you like you can make a whole blanket in one square i'm going to show you in another video how to join squares and change colors i like to crochet the squares together so that's the method that i'm going to show you we are now on um, the other corner and i'm going to speed up the video again and take the time to count the stitches and make sure your chains are there this way you don't have to go back and fix it. the row and we're going to join the ends again again we're going to get a little bit of that stitch chain three pull it through and there you have it you see my corners you see my sides 
And now we're going to end the square and sew in the tails. Going to use our needle, the sewing method. Here's my fold over thread, way to thread the needle. Did a video on that. And just go through a couple of the stitches in the back, enough to hide it. Sometimes I wait till I'm finished with all the squares, sometimes I do it, you know, when I'm working on it. Depends what mood I'm in. And this is just a quick little square. Cut the threads. And there you have it. Very easy granny square. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Gracie Designs, and join me next time on Mornings with Gracie.